Hey, how are you? So good, I'm sure. This is just gonna be a general tarot card reading. Whenever it finds you is when I'm sure it's me to find you. A card just flew out and the card is the Four of Pentacles. So Four of Pentacles is a card of Capricorn. It deals with structure around how you believe your reputation is, okay? Not holding too tightly to what you believe your reputation is because you know that it's just inherently what you are. If you have to keep telling yourself that you're a good person or you have to keep telling yourself that you do the right thing or whatever, do you really then? You know, you shouldn't do that because you should just know that you inherently are just a good person, okay? So don't cling too tightly to the belief that you need to show who you are or prove yourself to people, okay? This also is a card of having a lot of material success, but needing to make sure to allow yourself to open up in other ways because if you hold on too tightly to the material things in your life, you'll never want to get up. Like, literally, look. He's standing on the coins. One's on his head. He's scared to get up because he fears that that will fall, you know? So not being afraid to change how you view yourself sometimes, okay? Sometimes we have to change the way we view ourselves because we have to, all right? Just, that's just the way it goes. Trust me, I know how that feels. I'm here right with you. Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Swords in reverse. Again, more Capricorn energy, but it deals with Capricorn as well as Sagittarius energy when you deal with the Queen of um, Pentacles. This is somebody who's generous. This is somebody who's hardworking. This is, again, somebody who's not really available in other ways, though, because they are focused solely on what they can give out to the world. They're not paying so much attention as to what they can gain from the world, all right? They want to give, and that's a beautiful thing to be a part of, all right? To know that you just have knowledge to share, to know that you have skills to share, to know that you have things that you can share that can make things more lucrative for you in your life, things like that, where it's like you, this is you being a person that is just wanting to be very generous, okay? And is seen as somebody who's very stable and generous, but needing to be aware, again, as I say, to be open to more prospects than just financial prospects, okay? This is so cool, you guys, because I just was uh, reading about like obelisks and stuff, you know, and it can also, obelisks are, are uh, structures, but they also could be germs and shit in our body, like bacteria and stuff. It's crazy. And they could like either hurt you or do nothing to you and just exist inside your body. Isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. So it's like you finding new things in your life, new, new um, opportunities to open yourself up to different things and different ways of seeing things, all right? And different, like, viewpoints and, like, different perspectives on things, especially things that you may have thought were a certain way all of your existence or certain behaviors that you may have um, been a part of in your existence where you have been solely focused on gaining more material things and being generous with um, your material resources, things like that, even just, like I said, the knowledge that you carry within you. So being open to other areas of existence, uh, whether that be emotional, whether that be the mental side of yourself, okay? Or whether that be the the creative part of yourself, all right? So with the Page of Swords being in reverse, it's all about <clears throat> being able to communicate in a way that doesn't harm anybody, being able to communicate in a way that makes you feel very open with what you're communicating, and people also feeling like they can't communicate with you. When I see the Page of Swords in reverse, I know that it's energy that feels like it, it just can't, it can't get its point across, all right? So maybe you could be feeling like that too in a situation, like you could be feeling like you're not completely able to communicate the way you would like to communicate in certain situations because you do have a lot of things that you're dealing with when it comes to your own material well-being, all right? But don't get lost in like feeling like you're lack of communication or things not coming to you the way that you would like them to, especially when it comes to communication. Guys, I know how it feels to like really feel like nobody's listening to you. Like the universe is just not listening to you or your messages, the things you're putting out there aren't getting heard or aren't being understood by anything or anyone. All right. I know how that feels. But when we take a step back and we actually realize like maybe the one you're communicating to is just yourself and trying to be open in yourself then you can really uh, 
be grateful for when you are able to see again, little signs, synchronicities, things like that, because they're everywhere. They're always around. Whether you're paying attention or not, that's on you, okay? But being able to like be accepting of yourself and understanding of yourself and not be so hard and not be so nothing's listening, no one's listening on yourself, it'll make you feel a lot better if you just understand that even just you're listening to yourself, okay? That's very important. Not, it, it is important to give to other people all the time too. I get that, you know, but it's also very important to give to yourself sometimes, all right? Especially when it comes to mir mental, miracle, <laughs> miracle, mental clarification within your existence, all right? And being open to understanding where you need to change your existence, okay? And then with the Eight of Cups here, the world in reverse, and then the Knight of Wands, we have us being very creative, being very passionate, seeing things uh, that we may not have seen before when it comes to like secrecy, things like that, because Knight of Wands is a card of Scorpio as well as Sagittarius. Again, higher learning from Sagittarius. That's all about the universe trying to help you, help direct you. The energy of the world, whatever you choose to believe in, angels, gods, deities, beings, you know, plants, whatever, it's directing you to feeling like you're more open to a more intimate side of yourself spiritually, okay? As well as socially and creatively, because this is a card of socializing and being creative and being seen as a very uh, prospective, uh, like, character, we'll just say. Like, you know, other people seeing, like, oh, I can I can be creative with this, this other thing, you know? Like, I can be creative with this thing, too. Whether it's a person, a place, or a thing in your existence, you'll know, you know, but... It's you being able to see that there are many options in your life, especially when it comes to opening yourself up emotionally, but meaning to, again, be intimate with yourself because this is a card of Scorpio. It's all about your secrets, what you uh, what you try to hide from the world that you truly feel emotionally, as well as like sensually, as well as like your, um, your real true spiritual ideations and things like that. So it's you being able to understand that there are always options in your life to make you feel either emotionally overwhelmed or emotionally overwhelmed in many different ways. It could be happiness. It could be uh, anxiety, but just being aware that there are always options no matter what you go through because you have been through a lot with the world in reverse. This is having gone through so much struggle with yourself. Again, 10,000 energy of reputation and what you believe your reputation is and what you believe other people see your reputation as, okay? Especially when it comes to the physical side of you, being a hard worker, doing everything you need to do to get yourself to success, you know? So that's really awesome that you're like that, but don't be so, like, dependent on other people. I almost said needy, you guys, but we're not fucking needy. Not when it comes to this type of stuff, right? Not being so dependent on what other people think about you. Because at the end of the day, like I said, Again, it could even be like that spiritual thing where you're like, well, the universe isn't thinking about me or my God's not thinking about me. My angels aren't thinking about me. You know, not being so obsessed with this idea of needing other things to think about you. OK, because you have so many different options emotionally and people really see you as a creative being and a being that can help them to gain more, especially when it comes to their material well-being. All right. So, yeah, it's a cup. It's a cup. You guys, where am I? Ace of Pentacles. We're going to end that here. When you're dealing with the Ace of Pentacles, you're dealing with all of the earth signs, okay? You got your second house of Taurus, you got your sixth house of Virgo, and you got, again, that tenth house of Capricorn, where you are just really, truly trying to analyze yourself, be more organized, be better morally, and finding things that make you feel like you're being better with the, with your own idea of what's ethically what's ethically correct to you as a human being, all right? It's you really finding new ways of gaining uh, more materials again, too, like being more lucrative in your businesses, finding out that you have a lot to offer that can make you a lot more money or abundance, you know, so finding abundance, even if that abundance isn't material or isn't financial, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of something like that here, um, you know, it's finding emotional, emotional investment, it's finding uh, skillful, like creative investment, ways to be more like inviting to certain things. All right. So of all that I can see here, you guys, that's been, a, it's been a long time since I said that I feel like, but maybe it hasn't, I don't know. Who knows? You know, 
of all that I can see here, it's us truly being generous, being open, not holding too tightly to what we believe to be our reputation, not holding too tightly to a disbelief within ourselves either, you guys, not holding too tightly to what we think is going on in the universe or in the realm or spiritual um, dimensions, whatever that may be to you, you know, it's us really truly trying to be present in our physical world, okay? So that's awesome. Being open though, opening ourselves up mentally, opening ourselves up a little bit more emotionally because of the Eight of Cups. I know, not the Eight of Cups, you guys, the Seven of Cups. Because I know like when you have the Seven of Cups, you have many options of whatever you'd like to get accomplished, okay? Or many options coming towards you emotionally. So you have to do a lot of emotion, uh, emotional investment, all right? So anyway, I appreciate you so much. I really truly do. And I hope you got something out of this other than just watching me talk. But again, I know you just like to watch me talk. So anyway, I appreciate you again. And I thank you.